Hello everyone. How are you doing? You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are most welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. May God bless you. May God open your doors. May God wipe away your tears. Cry no more. Worry no more. There is nothing the Lord cannot do. You are welcome. On this channel, we pray. I come here to pray with you, to encourage you, to guide you, to show you what to do, how to pray to attract your blessing. So all you need to do is to join us. Subscribe if you have not. And make sure you turn on the bell to always get notification. Give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends. We are going to discuss a major ticket to God's blessing. If there is anything at all you need from God, as humans, as human beings, we need different things from God. As our faces are different, our desires, wishes are different. And God can do everything. The reason why you have been praying for a long time. Some people tell me, I tried this, I tried that, nothing is working. But that same thing I have told you to do. Other people who did that, they got their blessing. God does not discriminate. He does not. So there is one major ticket to assessing God's blessing. Do not always worry yourself, wear yourself up, bother always how to make money, how to become rich. You are bothered. You don't know what to do. You always wear yourself up. You have this desperation. You are desperate. You are willing to do everything, anything possible to make money. You need to be careful so that you will not sell your soul to the devil. So that you will not sell your soul to the devil. You need to be careful. Don't bother yourself too much. You have a father. You know you have a God who is able. But there is something you need. To do to always assess his blessing without delay. Let's look at Proverbs 23 verse 4. Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Do not trust your own cleverness. Do not always wear yourself out, bother yourself, overstress yourself, all to make money. You are killing yourself. You don't even have the time to rest, to sleep, to pray because you want to make money. Do not always depend on your cleverness, your knowledge, your ability. That alone cannot help you. Work, work, work is not enough to give you money and your blessing. Let's also read Second. Corinthians 9 verse 8. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. And God will generously provide all your needs. And God will generously provide all your need. It is God that provides our need. It is the responsibility of God to give you what you want. All you need is a little effort. So when you kill yourself, you walk and walk at times you fall sick because of lack of rest. It is not the will of God. You are doing it the wrong way. You are doing it the wrong way. Build your personal relationship with God. Get close to God. And get this ticket. And whatever you need, you will get. God gives us what we want. 
He created us to provide for us. We are his children. And he is always there to help you. So now, what is this major ticket that you need to assess your blessing? Let's look at Luke 6 verse 38. Luke 6 verse 38. Give and it shall be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaking together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. What you need to assess your blessing is to give. Many of you, all you do is prayer. You pray, 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 pray. See, prayer without giving goes nowhere. No matter how much you pray, even if you are righteous and you don't give, it will not work. See, I have seen sinners, people who are not really close to God. They are rich because they are generous. They are generous. People that are really open to help others, they can never be poor, even if you are a sinner. This is the quickest way to gain God's forgiveness. And that is why you see some people, they are not too close to God, but they are making it. They are making money because they give. Whenever you give people, whenever you help people, whenever you show concern, you are doing that for God. And God also will bring people to help you. God is the one to help you and to provide for you. But he is also going to send people, human beings like you, to bless you, either to give you a job or to come and buy from you or to help you financially. I had a problem back then. I prayed, I fasted, I did all, no answer, until I started charity. Charity does not mean that you should give money to your friends. Give to people who cannot pay you back. Give to people who are needy, not people who already have or people who are already comfortable. I'm not saying once in a while you cannot assist people from your class, but there are people who are dying. They do not even have roof over their head. They cannot even pay you back. These are people that extend to God. Whenever you help such people, the orphans, the needy, the destitute, then you are helping God. So not all giving is giving for God. When you give people who are hopeless, you are giving to God. So when you do this, just relax. Do a little work and allow God to do the rest. Now let's go to Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. See, for you to produce wealth, it is more on ability and knowledge. There are many people, they walk and walk and walk and up until now, they are still poor. While there are others, they put in little effort. They make lots of money without stress. You need more of ability. There is something you need to do to attain your blessing. Many of you, you bring God at the end when you are fed. That is when you remember God. If you want to avoid failure and poverty, always put God first. Before you start your day, tell God to give you the ability to produce wealth. Tell God to show you what to do today, how to go about it today to make money. Once you say that prayer, God will play it out without stress. Every little thing you do, you will see money coming out. So always pray for the ability, Lord, give me the knowledge to produce wealth. Before you start a business, tell God to give you the ability. Anything you are doing, commit in the hands of God. 
let's assume you have made that mistake and you did not do that ask for forgiveness and always learn to put god first early in the morning before going out to hustle say god give me the ability to produce wet today being monday oh lord i receive your ability to produce wet today being monday in the name of jesus say that seven times or even three times oh lord i receive your ability to produce wet today being monday in the name of jesus say it again and again i go out you will see that you will always know what to do something in you will tell you do this god speak through your instinct at times through friends so whatever ideas that come to you, you pray over them. Whenever you are going out, always pray for the ability to produce wet. And throughout that day, you will be successful. Whatever you do, you will attract money. You will see that you will begin to work less. I don't work too much, but I do assess money effortlessly. So always pray for the ability to produce wealth every day. Oh Lord, today being Tuesday, give me the ability to produce wealth. I receive the ability to produce wealth today in the name of Jesus. You say it over and over again and you go out. You will see favor. You will see ideas. Ideas will be coming in, in your mind. Different ideas through people and then you will know what to do. Only one thing that you need to do to break out of poverty. Only one thing you need to do to grow that thing you are doing. But you don't know. So God will give you the ability. Either through someone, God can decide to send an helper to come and help you with the idea. But normally, they might not want to share these ideas with you. But when God calls them to help you, they cannot but accept so do this and you will see that you will make it, make money without stress. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. I will see you again.